back. For years, we've reported on Houston County's soaring population. In many ways, it's been a blessing. Along with new people pouring into the area, the population surge has brought restaurants and jobs and shopping. What happens, though, when local law enforcement suddenly has thousands more people to protect? Zach Merchant with our 13 Investigates team tells us sometimes it's a battle to keep up with it all. Nothing having on one word emergency. There's some drug personnel that had here, not from here. Warner Robins Barberitos bartender Jordan Wilson made that call on July 6th, but it wasn't her first 911 call from work. That happened on the night of January 21st. I mean, I was just in shock and crying and just told him that there was a homicide. Wilson says she was the one who called police when someone gunned down her coworker, Parker Moore. Most people don't ever have to go through that, and I don't wish that on anyone. So months later, when someone made a disturbance at the same Barberitos, he's pushing people around, he's been screaming inside the restaurant, cussing, and he's trying to fight people outside. She was on edge. Oh yeah, it's always in the back of my head. <laughs> I'm always paranoid. But on that night in July, documents show it took Houston County 911 dispatch nearly half an hour to dispatch a cruiser, and at one point called the restaurant back and said they'd been stretched thin. We've just been really busy. By then, Barbarito's employees said the woman making trouble had left, so they told dispatch not to bother sending anyone. Records from the 911 center show the call was then cleared. But what happened at Barbarito's that night in July might not be an isolated case in Houston County. Between 2010 and 2017, the county's population has jumped nearly 10 percent, and with more people to protect, 911 center call logs show the number of calls over that time period have skyrocketed. Documents we got on an open records request show that in 2010, the Houston County 911 center got about 170,000 calls, but by 2017, that number had jumped to more than 216,000, a more than 25 percent jump in the time period, and law enforcement says they're feeling the effects. We're certainly busier. Uh, you know, the whole world's changing around us, and we're, we're trying our best to, to keep up. For urgent crimes like shots fired, the response times for Chief Chuck Haddon's Centerville Police Department have trended slightly upward, while for others like home invasions and robberies, the department's response time got faster. Haddon says his department prioritizes those types of calls, and our research shows that their average response times didn't change all that much over the time period. House and County's other law enforcement agencies generally followed the same pattern. Urgent calls typically got speedy responses. But when all 911 calls are included, those response times look a lot different. Some departments fared better than others. Warner Robins Police Department's overall average response time got about 10% slower over that period, while Centerville's nearly doubled. Taken as a group, the four county agencies' average response times slowed by about 35%. The problem, police say, is that sometimes their manpower is stretched thin. And there are some times when, my, like I said, my guys are backed up. Uh, we got two or three people on a call. Um, my investigators are shagging calls. Myself, the captain and the lieutenant are shagging calls. And there's sometimes there's just not enough people to go around. He says when that happens, other agencies help handle the load. But the numbers show that might not always be enough. In Houston County, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. And to see some of the data for yourself or read more about the issue, you can visit our website, 13wmac.com.